What is up, Internet, and welcome to the very first episode of Let's Talk Anime. My name is Alan McCarthy, also known on the Internet as Kashimoto, and, well, I'm, uh, I am probably the biggest weeb here, uh, because anime is my life, and everything. But I'll get to me after I get my two lovely guests to introduce themselves first. Uh, I'm Catherine, uh, also known as Blood Skulls. I watch quite a bit of anime, probably not as much as Alan. Your turn, Joe. You guys are anime nerds. And I am Tapra, always known as Joe, always known as that guy from the 409D podcast. I know nothing about anime. You know a bit. You've seen some stuff. But, but yeah. some equals not enough. Yeah, you're probably out of tier ratings here. I'm uh, anime master race. <laughs> Catherine is uh, anime console, and you are probably handheld at best. <laughs> handheld? What? <laughs> I, I, the only mass, the only mass race I could think of was PC mass race with, with all the other consoles. Just like, ah. <laughs> so I just replaced that with anime. Okay, so on the spectrum, I'm, I am the uh, Game Boy Advance to your guys's PS4 and PC. I'd yeah. probably be the kind of current next gen consoles. Alan's definitely PC master race. Yeah. And you're this prehistoric gamer. I'm the virtual boy. <laughs> no, you're the player in the garden with a, a ball of string. No, I'm Rob. <laughs> really? Rob. Oh. Sure the dog doesn't like anime. Oh, the dog loves anime. And it just wants to express, like, let me join. Oh, my get this, get this piece of shit off here. It doesn't know anything. <laughs> uh, but yes, um... Welcome everyone, uh, this is the first episode of Let's Talk Anime, and this podcast is not brought to you by anyone, because, hell, I'm not popular enough to get sponsored, <laughs> but no, this, this episode is brought to you by Tap Brit. check out his channel on YouTube. <laughs> but yeah, I, I basically got my, uh, four or nine friends, yeah, uh, because I don't really, really do anything for them. I used to when it was RT UK, but 409, nah, I I, I left practically. <laughs> However, I'm the admin of the server, so yeah. You really should kind of join in and do some stuff. Yeah. I just don't have the money or <laughs> the time. We should play some um, seven days sometime. Yeah. But um, this podcast is going to be for the, well, the main party I'm aiming towards is, you know, people that want an anime podcast, people that like anime, and also to the newbies who want to get into anime, aka Joe. <laughs> there was a lot of animes of nudity, apparently. <laughs> oh, Echi? Yeah. Yeah, that's. No, I, to, I just typed in anime, anime with nudity, and then it just a whole bunch of things. That is called hentai. Depends if you are actually getting some hentai results on that. No, I've got an anime planet. Okay. Apparently. Yeah, but there's a lot of shows with very etchy and everything. But yeah, um, so I'm just gonna ask. The simple question is, how did you guys get to know anime? Or, or Josh's case. Joe's? Or Joe's case. He's going to be called Josh this whole podcast. Just, just get well with it. His name's Josh now. I've, I've legally changed it. <laughs> to be honest, first, one of my first days, one of the teachers thought my name was Tom. <laughs> Well, my name's Aaron, spelt with one A and one R. I got called Aaron a lot. I or Aaron. that once, putting two A's in it, then no another Aaron. Yeah. That was just the once, though. 
That's fine. But yeah, um, for Joe's case, uh, how he got to hear about this podcast and why he wanted to join and all that. So, uh, I, I guess I'll go first, even though I'm already forgetting my own question in my head. <laughs> but yeah, um, how I got in anime was, uh, I would say I got into anime at the end of my secondary school and into college more. Uh, by the way, we are all British, so this is the British school system. Just in case I get any other viewers from any other countries. <laughs> so, are we talking about what? Can you say school or? Uh, room... When you got into, or... when you got into anime. So, yeah, for me, I got into the end of secondary slash college. Um, and I started watching shows like Bleach or, uh, Code Geass and all that, but in beforehand, what I didn't know was anime, such as Tokyo Mew. Uh, yeah, that was probably the first one I've watched yep. too. Dragon Ball Z, Say the Moon, uh, Gundam. This stuff I thought was just, like, cartoons, everyday cartoons with Pokemon and all that. Funny enough, it wasn't, um, and... We were lying to. Yeah, from what I heard was, anime was the time when Bleach and everything was popular, and those type of shows. Uh, that's what I thought anime was, till later on in life, and... Well, since then, I, like, I've not stopped, like... I've gone, a, I've gone like, a small hiatus like a few weeks just to binge watch a few episodes but yeah like I wouldn't call myself mainstream I would definitely consider myself uh, someone who branches out to very different shows and all that because I don't mind any category so yeah that's my story on how I've gone into anime Cap how about you uh, I'm not really sure when I first got into anime but uh, I definitely watched it as a kid without realising it. Um, predominantly Tokyo Mew, which over here was called Mew Mew Car. Um, uh, I don't know. I can't even remember what the first anime I watched was. <laughs> Do you remember any types of scene? I might be able to help you out. <laughs> No, I I know a load of different names I watched a while ago, but I don't know which one was the first. Mm. Definitely say my first one was definitely Dragon Ball. But uh, Tokyo Move could probably be your very first one. That probably would have been the first one chronologically wise. I'm just trying to think of the first one I watched that I knew it was Anna. Ah. Channel for the life of me. That's fine. Mm. I don't know. And you, like, how frequent do you watch anime up to today? Um, fairly frequently. Uh, maybe every couple of weeks. Yeah. And then I binge watch it sometimes. Like, I binge watched the Fate Day Night uh, Ultimate. series. Uh, Dean Stays Works or Ultimate Blade Works? Uh, just the normal Fate Day Night. It's the only one on Netflix that's in English, that English dub. I, I started watching the Ultimate work. Oh, okay, so yeah, the first one, you, the first one you watched was uh, Dean Stays Night then. Uh, the reason it's from, um... the reason it's called that uh, is because it was made by Studio Dean at the time. Yeah, I can't keep up with the subtitles on the other one. Uh, they're kind of too slow for the um, 
what was going on. I understand that, like, uh, I remember with my first time doing subtitles and everything, it was like, I, like, I can't keep up and everything, so I went to dub, but, um, like, there are certain, uh, like, cushier shows for that to help you, like, mm -hmm. that's what I did, I, I watched, like, K-On! or stuff like that, and I, through the subtitles of that, I learned to just, like, I, I keep up with it now. Sometimes I understand some stuff, but I know a little bit of Japanese, that's why. I can normally read the subtitles fast enough, but I mean, there was a kind of delay after they said it. Yeah. And part of the subtitles were coming up, and it just got to the point where, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, that's all good. Uh, so Joe, I said your name right. Uh... <laughs> You have the least knowledge for anime, so I'll ask you the question, what made you want to join this anime podcast? I don't know. <laughs> Alright, great answer. <laughs> it was just a fact, I don't know, just, here's a podcast, who wants to join us? Like, oh, well, I don't know, I'll go, so I guess I'll... Plus, I did warn you I had no experience, and you're still like, ah, well, who cares? Yeah. Oh, you, you've seen some stuff and everything. Like... Do you want me to recount my history? Yep, yeah, yeah, go ahead. Okay, so in secondary school, I joined a film club. Where once a Wednesday you'd watch a film, and then you'd do a review or something on it, if you felt like it. Completely different idea I had in mind for a film club. I thought you were actually like trying to film something and all that. I also no, went to a film club, but it was also just watching stuff. You just get DVD and just, oh, here's a film, watch it. And what, one of the first films that they showed, or at least the one that I walked into, was Ponyo. And then, I can't remember how much, much later than that, but then, uh, then one of the ones that we watched were. Howl's Moving Castle. Very good one, that. It's also very hard to find any type of DVD for that. And also, it just wasn't just no, looking at it now. The the club was only was only on for about an hour and a half, and the film these two films are both forty three minutes from from an hour and fifth and almost two hours. So yeah, yeah. Ghibli, uh, Ghibli likes to. Move along with that. <laughs> and then, I'm guessing in 2013 was the how Ruby, Ruby's first come out. And I, I was watching it, watching the first episode. I went, oh, this, eh, this is some, this is some, this is some girly things because all the characters, because the characters so far were girls, and I was in that teenage mindset of girls. <laughs> <laughs> then about a year later, I was like, oh, the show's actually pretty cool. And all I'm gonna say is that they played the music in an episode, of, an episode where where Miles was in the Ruby costume dancing around. I was like, "Oh, that sounds like cool music. I might as well check out the show." What one, one, one take? So your reason for watching Ruby was Miles Luna cost dressing as Ruby Rose. Yep. With the music. Well, the main, well, the main reason was the music sounded cool. I was like. Oh, this sounds cool. I might as well check it out. I will give it, but like, um, Jeff something? I I don't remember the, the, um, their, the music, their, their music guy who does basically all their music Jeff. for the show. Williams? Yeah. Williams? I think, yeah, Williams. Yeah, Jeff Williams. Um, give me a second, I'll pull up the soundtrack on my phone. <laughs> yeah, let's get our facts right for this. <laughs> But, um, yeah, yeah like... does most of the music. Yeah, like, he's done Red... Oh, it was a K and two yep. F. Jeff Williams. Yeah. He's done, like, Red vs. Blue, Ruby. Uh, don't know if he's actually doing any music for Genlock, but... Definitely feel like... Most likely, because... Them and Rooster Teeth are, like... Fucking... They're basically in bed together. Yeah! <laughs> They have a magical agreement to do this shit. <laughs> I'm trying to think if there's anything else in my anime history, and I think the only thing is trying 
going only five episodes into Attack on Titan because that was the cool shit back in the day. Ah, yes. The mainstream Attack on Titan. Mm. People... I, like I watched five episodes of that. The thing I was watching it on wouldn't get past a certain point. I was like, oh, I'll give up. <laughs> Do you have Netflix or... Netflix? <laughs> I'm trying to think. What other streaming services yeah, do it besides Crunchyroll and that? My first... The problem was that I didn't have any of those things. Ah. Uh, so, so, he... so I was watching it on somewhere, I can't remember. Probably an illegal site that we will probably not mention. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Just don't say anything! <laughs> no, we're, we're totally innocent. We don't watch illegal stuff. We pay for our stuff. Can we cut this bit from the edit? Can we cut this bit from the edit? <laughs> what do you mean we're live? <laughs> no one said that. Yeah. Um. Yeah. But um. Like. With this podcast, would you like to get into more more anime and this What's culture of life? Um, What's that? What's your favorite anime? My favorite anime. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's such a hard question. Like, I am probably the one here that's seen like a good amount of anime <laughs> and everything. Um, the Super Mario Bros. movie. <laughs> uh, my favorite one. Uh, whew, you know what it. At the moment, um, I'm definitely loving My Hero Academia and everything. I really need to watch. It's like it's a shonen and everything, but it's doing shonen right. Like, I'm always a fan of hero stuff. Like, I've always been in. I was the geeky nerd at my school who got bullied because that was the time period it was not now where if you're a geeky nerd you're apparently fucking a superstar popular guy and I'm like I, I hate I hate all of you because I wish I had that <laughs> yes I've watched the third episode of that show what a time it was think this girl swooning in the corridors <laughs> yeah but um yeah like I read I read Spider-Man comics and everything. Um, I was very big into video games and Pokemon and all that. That was somewhat cool, but it was the comic aspect and being a bit more smarter than everyone I went to my in secondary school. Uh, just kind of, you know, I was a target for bullies and everything. And yeah, but um, good. You're lucky. Um, but yeah, uh, it's just like the hero concept, like I love all the Marvel latest movies, DC, you s seriously, please work on your movies. Oh, I have not seen Infinity War yet, because no, I didn't no, see no. Ragnarok or Black Panther yet, and then when I caught up, it's like, oh, Infinity War's out of cinemas, well, kill me. <laughs> I haven't seen Iron Man. You haven't seen Iron Man? No. Um, uh, like... Three. I've only probably possibly seen like three of the Marvel films. Well... They're on Netflix. Yeah, most, oh. well, I, yeah, most of them are on Netflix now. Uh, but yeah... There's a whole lot of anime and other stuff on Netflix. Yeah. And Marvel stuff. Massive genre. But yeah, back to the question at hand before we get sidetracked. <laughs> is, yeah, I've always... Uh, my hero is just the whole hero dynamic and everything. And you definitely see it as the main character, Deku, who's got no powers and everything. He still goes and try to be a hero. And everything. Mm -hmm. He has the will of a hero, what I call. And that, that shit just makes me feel good. It's also one of the only animes that has actually made me join a gym. Yeah. <laughs> it made you join a gym? Yeah I, yeah, I was watching My Hero and everything and it's just like, 
you know, I'm really pumped up after like almost every episode. It's just like I went down, joined the gym for a free month, and yeah, I'm just like I'm keeping at it. I'm slowed down a little bit because uh, work and that, but yeah. I really need to watch that then. It is. It is very good. Um, but I'm gonna turn that around on you now. Okay, good to be wood. Uh, my favorite anime by far is um Fairy Tail. Hmm. I don't know how to explain why. It just is. I've watched every episode that I know of. That's how. Um. Like over two hundred or so of them. Yeah, it's a shonen and <laughs> everything. Yeah, uh, I've watched all the films. Even though I had to watch some of them in the in Japanese, but I survived. <laughs> yeah, fairy tales dialogue isn't that heavy because it's aimed towards children and everything. So. Yeah. Mm. I I love that Michael and Lindsay. I'm uh, not Michael. Michael and Barbara, <laughs> uh, voice characters in the English dub. Yeah, I did not know that. Uh, I did not know that until recently. Just like... Great fan. I found out after I started, after I was walked in Town. It was awesome. Yeah. Well, with Fairy Tale, it's kind of a. There's always two. There's. I found with people with Fairy Tale, there's a very. Very two different sides of Fairy, of Fairy Tale fans. And everything, and that is, people love it and everything, like, a good love for it, and then there's just, like, the people that just, like, it's a really shit show, and I don't know why <laughs> they think that. I know some of the character models are basic and everything, like, the artist isn't that great at drawing other characters, but he does do a good story and all that, like, his previous show, the uh, author did of that, was called Rave Monster. What got cancelled, what sucked, it never got finished. There's a manga of it, but I can't be asked to read the manga because I want to see the anime version. Mm. But yeah, um, his, his art style stays very the same. Even his new manga, because uh, Fairy Tales ended. Uh, so his new manga is released. Leary look like Leary does look like Ray and Lucy from Fairy Tale. I'm just like these are new characters. They don't look any different from Ray and Lucy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So of the limited uh, anime you've watched, what's your favourite? I did remember one that I I like. You Castlevania. Did. Castlevania, yeah, I agree yes. with that. That uh, I never played the Castlevania game, so me neither. I still uh, could show. Yeah, especially as it was a complete like in-house, like small team that Netflix was supporting, and I think like the first I heard of that, like Netflix doing it. Well, Netflix did their own Death Note, and well, we we all know how that went. Actually, I don't. I didn't watch it. Good! Save yourself trouble! But so, William Dafoe's in it. Honest to god, William Dafoe is probably the only best part, and even so, that did not redeem the movie at all. Oh, I'm gonna go watch it now! <laughs> anyway, uh... All I'm gonna say is... Yeah. Uh, the guy gets his eye whipped out. That... that... I mean that... That's just... Got, that's the selling point. Yeah. Like... I do find it funny with that type of stuff, it's like, oh, and when people ask, grow up, nerd, anime's for kids, and, no, it fucking isn't. <laughs> and then I will literally show them, like, stuff like high school DXD, even though it's actually meant to be high school DED, but doesn't sound right, or fucking Castlevania, or just stuff that's pure gore, and I'm like... But he's never seen in Castlevania where, where the demons are killing children. I didn't see any children in the show. There were some kids, yeah. I think oh, there were? Like, I think mm. there were. 
Oh shit. Conspiracy theory. Dun, 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 dun. Is Dracula evil? No way. No way. But yeah, um, no, definitely, yeah, like Castlevania was a very good show, and I think. I wasn't going in with good hopes for it, but after seeing Death Note, like, oh god, what are they going to fuck up this time? But no, uh, definitely done, and made a better show than I was expecting. But then again, I have a, I have a saying, if you think every show is going to be shit, then you won't, then your expectations will either be achieved or unexpected. I try to go into most stuff with an open mind. Yeah. Unless I'm really looking forward to it, especially to it. If it's something of a remake, say the Power Range movie, then I will be like, oh, I, I know you're making your own version. Same with the Ghostbuster movie, then the all-female cast. But... Yeah, you can not watch that, and I'm not going to. But I like the original, and I just want to keep the original in my head. Yeah. Yeah, do that. Is guys have opened up a whirlpool. <laughs> you move on to movies, I'm going to talk about movies. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, yeah, this is a Let's Talk anime, not a Let's Talk movie podcast. I yeah. think 4 and 9 will cover that stuff. So, um, you've opened it up, I want to complain. <laughs> uh, sorry, we don't have a HR team yet to complain, so... You're just gonna have to email it somewhere. I'm just gonna go wild. <laughs> um... Yeah, so... Try to think of a topic now, I, I did have one in mind. I really want to watch more cat anime. So, the Jumanji remake? Oh, I really <laughs> need to watch that. That's all not I, anime! But all, I'm, all I'm gonna say is, for a Jumanji film, it doesn't feel like Jumanji. It doesn't feel like... Yes, I will agree with that. This is a Let's Talk anime, people. I'm just... We're just getting the movie podcast for out of the way. Just, you know... There's, push, there's, no, like... there's no killer plants. Where's the killer plants? I love the killer plants. They scared me. Where's the killer plants? It was more... It turned into a quest video game and everything. What no, makes they sense. Just, they they, they explained Jum- it, but... Jumanji they, was different. Like, it didn't feel like Jumanji. Here's the explanation. Like, Jumanji's a board game. They turned Jumanji into Vietnam. <laughs> yeah. Think about it, and it's true. Because even from the trailer, I was like, "Why do they have trucks and hair lip ports?" Hair lip ports. <laughs> is that what you said? Yes, that is what I said. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> also, that. But the Easter egg to uh, Robin Williams doesn't make sense because that completely contradicts with the timeline. Yeah, yeah. But um, I've got, you, I've got I'm on to, I'm going into this now. I'm googling shit. Is it bad that I really like watching High School DxD? Ah, uh, like I I liked it for the first two seasons. The third season I can get hooked into it all, and I. Still need, like, here's the thing. I've seen two seasons at this point. It's like, well, I might as well watch the third, cause <laughs> fuck me, you know that that's I don't know. Is it 25 episodes each? Is it 12? I don't remember. I don't know. Okay, here's what I'm gonna say. So the original Jumanji, I'm gonna say, is based in 1996, cause that's when it was released. Yep. There's an Easter egg. To, to Alan, the, the, the uh, well, Williams character, Alan Parrish, I like, showed that he he was in the, he was around when this one person was in. But that contradicts with everything, because if he got to 1996 and he even got the time I got raised and he went back to being a person throughout those years, then why the fuck is that writing still on the tree? Doesn't make sense. I've uh, placed like grown up, or it was more poor set writing. But anyway, yes, back to anime. So, um, 
that's the movie segment done. Wasn't planned. No, yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you talk about anime movies, I will cancel this movie segment. <laughs> like I said, Ponyo. Okay, yeah, you know, I can't stop there. I can't stop him there. <laughs> but, um, I was going to say this one scene where he's talking to his dad, dad through Morse code, and the mum just is like violently tapping on it, and, it, and the subtitles, subtitles just say, go away, go away, go away, repeatedly. <laughs> it's like, I haven't actually seen many Ghibli movies. Um, um, I know of them, and all that, but the only one I know I've definitely seen and can remember is Spirit Away. Spirited Away. It's the only one I have me memorized in my head, and it's like, all the others, I'm like, you know what, I don't even know if I've seen this or not. But, um... There's a, there's a scene in Ponyo where all the old women are underwater, and running around all jolly. Yeah, I don't know what give these minds on when... He animates stuff. <laughs> but, uh, let me get back to hosting. And, uh, so there's you. A scene where he, there's a scene where he kisses a fish and it turns into a girl. Well, that kind of reminds me of the Princess in the Frog. Yeah. But she was already a chick. I don't know if this fish was. Yeah. But that's an instant way of getting a waifu. Just kiss a fish, you're. <laughs> Here's your new girlfriend. <laughs> Kiss the fish. Kiss the fish. Hopefully they don't have a lifespan of a fish. Then again, I don't know the average lifespan of a fish. So yeah. Um, I think some can live up to probably longer than a human. I'm gonna Google that. Don't know if I want a kiss the fish to get a girlfriend out of that. Just like, huh? If you live longer than me, you can pass down my leg legend. Uh, well, a whale's catfish can live to 60 years. Oh. Like, this is going to be a completely new, brand new anime fucking idea for anyone listening who works in animation to make, oh, let's make fucking uh, anamorphic fish people now. <laughs> wow, well, there was an eel that lived in a whale for 155 Wait, years. So, so you mean shape of water, but an anime? Oh, and a koi that's been uh, alive for 226 years. Well, what I mean by that is, like, there's anamorphic, anim anamorphic uh, stuff, like, just last season there was a horse race in anime, what was horse girls. These were girls with horses and tails and can run as fast as a horse. Uh, apparently Greenland sharks don't reach uh, sexual maturity. Until at least 156 years old. Jeez. Okay, I'm looking up yeah. fish hentai. <laughs> <laughs> you probably get something with an octopus, and that's as much as I'm gonna go because I want to keep this at least. Mermaid. I don't that's know any. I don't know any mermaid hentai <laughs> at all. Well, there's a mermaid in Monster Machine. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. You just found something that you didn't want to see. Sorry, just, just, just one of the cover arts is fuck. It's a fish. <laughs> I gotta give me a second. If anything, drop in podcast links. If Let's I can see. show it, you're not gonna be able to show it, mate. Okay, then I will not click off my image I have over the chat. Okay, uh, do you want to post it into the podcast links? Yeah, post it in podcast links. I'll, I'll give it an edit and everything, and I'll blow it out. Or just put black lines over it. Oh, God. <laughs> but, um... Okay, I'm just gonna go back to watching, reading stuff in Livid Lounge. <laughs> but yeah, uh... On to the main topic I want to get back to is, uh... So... I want to discuss some stuff I want. Um, I have planned for the future of this show. If I do it weekly or bi-weekly, not hundred percent sure yet if I'm doing it weekly or not. Um, but yeah, like, um, I definitely want to start like an anime 
club in a sense in like it, in the watch list category you just like we'll pick an anime to watch i'll probably post three or four after this we'll um well you guys can have a choice and like oh let's watch this one and each week i say we like review it and if you think if anyone's seen the show fan service it's kind of like that in an anime club sense does that mean we're going to do funny gifts? I was thinking that, but fan service just got uncancelled, so I'm just like, probably not best to copy everything from fan service now. No. <laughs> but I wouldn't mind doing like a one off stuff. Like, I have an anime battle idea in my head where it's like different types of games each week or bi weekly, depending on what I do with the show. On, um, what you call it? Uh, like a trivia game for anime. You might not want to be for that one, Josh, Joe. <laughs> oh, the, no, I'll host the anime trivia. Let's just call him Jay. Yeah, yeah, Jay, Jay, that helps. <laughs> you know what? That could actually work if you host it uh, and everything. Like, yeah, just go on. on. Just go on like a BuzzFeed fucking site, you know, those, they have tons of those shit. And you bought the wrong answers from the internet. Did you know? Um, I'll just... Stuff, yeah, just like different types of games and everything to... I, I want to do this at mostly the start of the show because it's kind of... It, it gets people like, alright, I'm a bit energetic, I'm a bit... Well, all right, that was a fun game. We should do that again, type stuff. Mm. How does it all sound? Sounds like fun. Yeah. Could you spell kaiju? Good question. <laughs> no idea. Type in God to the kaiju? <laughs> or the first letters? Or type in God to like, race, and it might come up with kaiju on there? <laughs> God damn it! I, I was I, I was gonna type in Godzilla King of the Kaiju to see if it came up, but the, the only results are King of the Monsters. <laughs> what the? Why not call it Kaiju? Kaiju's a better word. Um, uh, I don't know. That might be just because uh English version compared to Japanese. Wait, what the fuck? I, I typed in Godzilla King of the and put K in, and it's also to do Godzilla King Kong. <laughs> I wanted kaiju. Let me type in kaiju. Anyway. Yeah. Well, he's searching up Godzilla and other movie stuff. Um. What? So yeah, like, I definitely have a thing. Few shows that we could do of an anime where we can watch it weekly. We can all we can watch it together through like Rabbit or. Trying to click at the same time and all that. <laughs> oh, that's how you spell kaiju. I wonder what type it was. Uh, some of our people watch some stuff together. Uh, Rabbit. Is yeah. the site you think you're thinking of? But yeah, um. Yeah. But yeah, um, definitely. Definitely, I feel like something we should do. I think I've actually run out of topics now. And we're 41 minutes in at the moment. So, go off this is max an hour and everything. I kind of feel like it's a good, we had a good time for an episode. Uh, but is there anything you would like to discuss before, before I close this out? No, I can't think of anything. Well, other than I'm looking forward to the um, fan uh creation of uh kind of re real life recreation of the anime haiku oh being created by i'm liver tv on twitch yeah. i call it volley like it it... the clip looks great like live action stuff and everything uh this is fan made isn't it it's not production yeah fan -made. okay Man, it'd be nice to see. Mo um, with fan-made stuff, they try to keep very close to the original. 
Yeah. Like, try and make it mirror to mirror. Um, like, there's other stuff, like, Netflix has some stuff on there, what are live action anime adaptations, like, um, yeah, Mob Psycho. Uh, What's in that, yeah? Kagagari. And there was the gambling one where she gets horny off gambling. <laughs> I I'm not joking. This school has a thing where it's a very pristine private store. All these people are rich kids from massive company families and everything. Um but yeah, they, they gamble away and if you gamble too much if you're a guy, you become a dog. If you're a girl, you become a kitty. And you're basically people's slaves and everything because you owe everyone debt. Mm, and okay, that's weird. But uh, this new girl comes in who just like, she's, some, she's really good at gambling. But she gets really turned on by gambling. <laughs> and it's a, yeah, it's a, I'm sorry, just... I saw... Pa, pa, pa! Oh, did you just, search the anime? <laughs> no, just... Just... Someone just get oh, that ex- so excited, just... Sevens! <laughs> they do all different games like Rock, Paper, Scissors, or... Uh, Russian Roulette, that type of stuff. Uh, it, it literally is, yeah, like... Royal Flush! Uh, that actually happens. That I think that actually happens, and she's like very aroused. Like she is turned on to like. It kind of makes you question, like, should I be watching this in the day? I hope <laughs> no, no one comes no. in at this one point. <laughs> Still, what it looks like. I swear to God, it's not porn. Ah! It's just, it's just. <laughs> That doesn't help, but I swear to God, it's not important. <laughs> I was gonna say, I just checked, and uh, there's some. I think there's some Godzilla films that are on Netflix. Why yes. Uh. So yeah, there. Uh, I think it was last year or the year, somewhere last year ish, maybe a bit more past it. Um, yeah, last year, I think. They announced uh, there's gonna be a Godzilla animated movie series and everything. Godzilla Planet of the Monsters. Yeah. And I believe they said it was a free parter. And I think. Um, well, yeah, on Netflix it's, it says part one part. I should, wait a minute. That, no, so, I'm the wrong bit. so here's the thing the first one they released was a year ago. It says part one, episode one. The new one's recently come out only a few days ago, and it's its own separate thing. And that's confused a ton of people. Because <laughs> mm. I don't think they're making this. I think they're doing it standalone, but I don't know. Um, someone who's big on the anime community and everything, a lot of people has been pissed off with this because the first one was good, but it doesn't explain much. It's like they killed the baby Godzilla. Here's the fucking real one. Uh, this ain't no pussy shit. Yeah. Um, and then it's just like. We got nothing for a whole year, and now the second one's come out and everything. And here's the problem on release and everything, even a few days after, there was massive audio problems with that on where the camera where the um where the camera was placed and everything. What makes sense if the camera was real is. Oh yeah, the person closer you'll hear louder than the person far away. But this is an animation. This camera's only there because it's showing us it's not a real working camera. So I don't... It, it pissed me off because I literally could not hear s- certain parts because it's like... I can't hear him. And turn my speakers up and everything, and then it's like the guy closes his camera, speaks, and it's like, "Can you hear me now?" Just like, "What?" Like, "Ow, my fucking ears!" <laughs> yeah. It really it, me when that happens. Yeah, they, there was a lot of problems with the new one being released, and it's like, "All right, they did something. 
kind of people don't remember what happened. Like, I literally had to go back. Well, I'm going to have watched the first one right now just so I know what's happened. And then watch this one. Um, One moment. Okay, I'm just cutting that bit out because my friends are spamming message me on Steam. Oh, he's in. He's on. The... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's just I don't know how long the next one's gonna be. It doesn't even feel like it's gonna be a three-parter. Now it feels like it's like a fucking mini movie series, and I'm like, I can't be asked to wait a year. Or several years to find the conclusion of this series. But it's very good to watch. Like, I wouldn't say there's any bad Godzilla films. Uh, there's certain ones that are just like, alright, they're dated. Like, the black and white Godzillas, but. You know. Well, at some point, I want to be watch all, those Godz all, the, all the Japanese Godzilla films. The fun, thi the fun thing I like about Godzilla is, if it's American Godzilla, Godzilla's so friendly and he's like a hero and all that. If it's... Not in the, not in the bloody, uh, 1990? Nine, 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 one, yeah. Well, yeah, but... I think that was just a, maybe, I don't know. But, mo that... but mostly, Godzilla and everything is like, f somewhat of... He doesn't fuck people up that much. Oh, just got someone in the chat. That was, that was it. Everyone was like <laughs> cheering. Everyone was like cheering on Godzilla as he's walking back into the ocean and like, Yeah, Godzilla, he killed everyone, but he saved the day. One sec, uh, <laughs> yeah. One sec, um, just gonna read. Hi there, what does Nasty l Don't read it out. I'm gonna read it. What does Nasty Lollies like more than beer? Uh, Really terrible pun! A terrible pun! But we won't talk about lollies here, like... It's not legal in most of countries, lollies, so yeah. Unless they're the people that look like lollies. You know, I'm not getting on this topic. This is this is a rabbit hole for destruction, this topic. Wait, track the podcast. <laughs> yeah. Where's the off switch? Yeah. Aaron has it. But yeah, the gods see the movies and everything, um... Yeah, very good. And there's anime ones now that's happening, so very good. Hopefully they fix their problems and the next one they release has better audio. <laughs> I need to watch some of them. After the massive list of anime I have to watch. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's what I was, was going to check out. Um, like... I don't know, like... The two movies right now, like, they are good standalones on themselves, but... They do leave you a massive cliffhanger, and I—it's kind of a hard show to recommend because it's like, well, there's going to be more, but probably in another year or so, so you'll probably forget it. So you know, might be best just to binge all three hours that all three movies that are like two hours long, yeah, close together. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, um. Yeah, I think we're pretty much done with the topics we would, we wanted to talk about, right? Like, yeah. I don't remember what it's else. About, it's about Jumanji. <laughs> I'll then finish this off. <laughs> Go ahead. You just, you just kicked me from the chat. I, I'm, I'm tempted. I'm tempted on just, like, muting you at least. <laughs> uh, But yeah, nah. Uh, but we can talk about this off top. Uh, Off... Podcast, but yeah, let's go watch an anime for body pillows. Can't body pillow yet, but maybe one day. I have to. I sleep with them. Okay. Yeah. Well, anyway, thanks everyone for watching. A little bit jolly, but you know, first podcast. I I didn't expect anything to be like fucking fluent. Uh, fluent. And yeah, um... Remember to turn off your Steam messages next time. Yes, I will. <laughs> oh, fuck, that is a lot of good to the phones.
there's the time. Um, but yeah, um, I'll. Ooh. I don't know, the next podcast will be either next week or it will be a bi-weekly podcast. Depends how I feel. And if mm. I'm not 100% like I have 700 things to do, because that's normally my day-to-day life. <laughs> and if you can kidnap anyone else. Yeah, if I can get a... If I can get a like... You're not in the RTX London Lonely, are you? You should join it. I like to kidnap loners for this boy and I talk out. Uh, Facebook chat or Discord? Discord. Send you a link. Yeah, send me a link and I'll... It's a really good place to kidnap. Okay, so uh, just by the way, loners as in all these people are single or we're uh, just all lonely? As in we're just going to London on our own and we're lonely. Oh, okay. I'm still lonely. Yeah. Did yeah, I got the invite. I can't click out of it at the moment because I'm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but yeah. Um, oh, yeah, I can see it. Next, uh, this will go on my channel within a few days because I have to edit this and I'm just bloody lazy. <laughs> Are you talking about Twitch or YouTube? This will be both on Twitch and YouTube. So this oh, will be. Even the edited version will be on YouTube. Yes, yeah, I will upload the edited version onto YouTube. I might upload it on Twitch. I give or take. Oh fuck shit! And on that note, we're out. So I need to drop my hair bow. <laughs> this is why I have two giant dinosaurs. <laughs> well, on that note, uh, till next time, Johnny. Bye. I have a happy day.